So we take our blank face, the template, where it's just everything is very typical measurement, and we're gonna start actually drawing the person that we wanna draw. So my person is my niece, and I'm looking at a picture of her out that direction. Uh, you always wanna look the same direction in your uh, drawing. Sorry, you wanna look at your subject past your drawing so that you're just moving your eyes up and down and you don't have to keep turning your head back and forth because that'll get confused. So the next thing I'm gonna do is look at the shape of her face and hers, she's smiling and she's kinda got some chubby cheeks. So the shape actually comes out a little bit from this oval. Her cheeks are a little wider. And I wanna be very light with this still because I wanna be able to erase it if I need to but I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit. Just a little bit from that oval. And now I don't need this inside line anymore because it's no longer the sides of my face. This is a little bit more the shape of her face. Uh, she's also smiling quite a good bit. So I gotta make sure that I, I leave this smile in there after I'm done. Now. In the middle of the eye, we know there's the pupil. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that as much of a perfect circle as I can. And then around the pupil, and I'll color that in a little bit. Around the pupil is the iris, and that's where the colored part of your eye is. And that's just another perfect circle. So I'm gonna draw that around there too. But if you leave it like that, it looks really creepy, right? Because it's like they're staring at you. So we have to cover up part of that iris with an eyelid. And the more you cover it up, the more sleepy they're gonna look. So I like to do just above, about halfway there, just above the pupil is where that eyelid's gonna come down. And already that looks a little bit less creepy, right? So that's gonna be the eyelid. We're gonna erase that other part um, without losing the overall shape because the lid you can still see in the shape of the eye there. All right, uh, the inside corner of the eye is always a little darker, so you can go ahead and put that down. So there's a shadow there, and then the bottom lid matters too, because if you smile, it pushes that side of your face up. You know, your eyes kind of squeeze together on the outside, so it'll actually uh, go a little bit upward toward the outside. And her eyes are almond shaped. So that's definitely gonna be true of her. Just gonna make that push upward. And you have kinda, of, you can see already, she's kinda of smiling, okay? So you've got your eyes. Uh, the next thing people typically wanna do, and I'll erase these little bottom lines, because it doesn't look very good to have bags under your eyes if you're not super tired. There we go. Um, she's got really pretty eyelashes, so I'm gonna darken that a little bit above there, make that upper line a little darker. I'm not going to draw every eyelash, I'm just going to make that line a little darker so that you know that there are eyelashes in there and it, it darkens that area. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is try to draw the nose a little bit. Now, a lot of people will draw a line down for the side of the nose. There isn't really any such line. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to draw the actual part of the nose that has some, some light and shadow on it. So her nose, her, her nostrils kind of bubble out like that. Most people do. And the nose is typically divided into three parts. So there's the middle of the nose and then the nostrils on the outside. And they're all little, almost equal for most people. Hers, the middle of her nose is a little bit bigger. And because she's smiling, it brings everything on the outsides of her nose up. Uh, so it actually looks like it's a really smooth curve. You know, and you can see a little bit of her nostrils, or a little bit of the uh, the openings of her nose, but not very much. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, all right? And there's a little bit of a, a suggestion of the round part of her nose. I'll leave that like that on just one side. But again, I'm not gonna draw that little line that a lot of people draw going up there because it's just not there. There's a little bit of a shadow and we'll add that in when we color it, but I'm not gonna draw it for right now. The next thing is to draw the mouth. So 
that classic smiley face looking smile, that doesn't really happen, right? That's not, <laughs> that's not how we want to draw things. So you're going to want to look at them smile and look at the, the shape. Is it flat across? Is it, sl is it sloped slightly up on the corners? Um, does their top lip come up when they smile or does it go down? With Ivy, it goes almost straight across. There's a little dimple here, a little curve that goes down. And then hers goes almost straight across and then up at the very corners. So I'm stopping at this line, remember, right under those pupils. So that's a good way to check. And hers happens to line up really well with that. So I'm sketching that line out, making it really thin. And her lips are a little below that line, actually. The person that you're drawing, their lips might come up. That's okay, too. This is where it gets different from person to person. All the generalities that we've measured, they'll be a little bit different now. You might be able to hear my daughter in the background start to cry a little bit. She's trying to take a nap. Uh, I'm, I'm disturbing her. So then I'm going to measure and see, okay, well, this is where that line was that shows me the bottom of the mouth. It should be right about there. So I'll just trust that that's true. And because she's smiling, the lips are actually going to be coming under the other lips. The bottom lips come and they, they fold under there. So I'm going to do very gentle lines. Uh, and here, here's the part where you can make it look really, really creepy if you're not careful. If you draw teeth individually, it's going to look scary. If instead you draw the line where the top of the teeth are, and really lightly draw the line where the gums are, it looks a lot less creepy. So when she smiles, she actually only shows her bottom teeth, uh, which I think is adorable. So I'm gonna do the outline of her lips here. And she's got kind of a crooked smile, which again, that's, that's totally normal. And her teeth kind of go back into shadow here. I can't see them past this point. So this is the widest that I'm going to draw them, and that right there is going to end up being shaded black. So I'm just drawing the outlines of the tops of the teeth, and a little line at the, that kind of shows where the teeth are going to go down, but I'm not actually going to draw the space between those teeth. Then. I'm gonna draw, there's these little wave shapes that come up for each tooth that show you that's where a tooth is. That's where the gums kind of come up. And that's all I'm gonna do for her mouth. Uh, when I color it, it'll make it look a lot more clear what her teeth are and where her gums are, where her lips are. But for drawing it, I wanna leave it kind of as, as simple as possible because the color is going to do a whole lot to make it clear. Uh, there's always a shadow on the corner of her mouth when you're smiling that kind of actually curves down a little bit like that. Just like you would with that smiley face where you put those on the outside, it, it really is there. That little shadow really is there. Uh, so I can put that indication now, but most of that's going to be done when I have my shading uh, and coloring later on. So she's got these really cute cheeks and dimples that kind of come out. So I'm going to draw those too, just a little bit. Just barely draw those in. And you start to really get the sense of what her face is going to look like. Okay, so all this is good, but she looks like an alien a little bit without eyebrows. So we need to give her some eyebrows, right? Uh, typically, less right at or a little bit less than the height of an eye so this is the height of the eye one more of those up and you've got how high the eyebrows are just on a typical smiling face so about that high you would draw the eyebrow and i'm just looking at my subject looking at her face kind of drawing it out now eyebrows aren't always curved like this sometimes they are almost straight across Sometimes they lift up and then curve down. Um, sometimes they just seem like they only curve down. So really look at the shape of the eyebrow when you're doing this, and that'll help you get that, that shape right for them. 
I'm just gonna do a little indication of it because most of that eyebrow is gonna show up in the coloring part, not in the drawing part. I don't wanna do individual hairs. I just wanna do the shape of the eyebrow, okay? And you'll notice too, the end of the eyebrow typically does not come past the edge of the eye. See that lining up right there? So this looks a lot more like an actual person as opposed to a blank looking face. So we're getting pretty close. Uh, the finishing touches for me are gonna be to put a little bit that looks like uh, a shirt on her. And actually her shoulders were at a different angle so we can actually see more of her shoulders back here. But I'll leave it for right here for right now. Put a little shirt there. Uh, her chin kind of has some dimples there that I'll sort of show. Erase all that extra stuff. And finally, the hair. A lot of people want to draw individual hairs. Well, that, that ends up looking kind of weird. So we're not going to do individual hairs. Instead, we're going to do the, the mass of the hair. So if she combs a lot of it this direction, we're going to make one big shape. And when we color it, we can do the individual hairs. But for right now, we're going to do one big shape. She parts her hair right up here. So that little area is going to kind of be uh, open. And then her hair is combed so that it swoops down off the side of her face and kind of makes a really smooth line that way. Okay, and then on the inside, it goes all the way, it actually comes over to her eyebrow and then comes off her cheek and then falls down here and it kind of covers a little bit of her shirt. So there's an open space here, but there's hair right there and I'm gonna erase the lines that are covered by the hair so you know where that hair is. And then there's a, there's a space in her hair right here that gets darker, right about there, because the hair is kind of parting and this is a, a big strand of hair over here and a different strand over there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some lines that show where that dark space is and erase that shape of her head that's hidden behind her hair. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Then I would erase all those extra lines that showed where her, that template of that roundish oval shaped head was. And what I'm left with is a decent, you know, third grade or so portrait of my niece. Uh, and so that's what we're gonna start with. And then from there, we'll talk about how to color that to make it look realistic.